Hi folks, Dan Dow here with Total Sales Solutions where we sell diesel trucks of all shape, form, and description, sell them only on the internet. Although, if you're local to us and see a truck you like, you're welcome to call and set up a time to come look at it, but we don't have a lot or salesman or any of that overhead to deal with, so we can make you great deals on diesel trucks like this one we have today. This is a fairly hard to find truck more and more. It's an 03 F250 Lariat four-wheel drive, but it's a 7.3 Power Stroke Diesel, not a 6.0. The reason they're hard to find is they only made these trucks in late 02. After January 1st of 03, they were forced to switch to 6.0 production. So they only made these for less than half a year model. So you don't see a lot of them. When you do, they're either sky high price wise or they're ragged out, worn out, and not worth fooling with. Today we got one of those trucks. It's neither of those, it's just right. This 03, we've done a few little upgrades. There's a few little nits to pick, but I'm gonna take you on a walk around, then show you under the hood, take you on a test drive. First of all, you can see the old grill was peeling. We upgraded it with an 07 chrome package grill looks a lot nicer uh, gives it kind of a unique look windshields brand new this is a southern truck you can see under here of course no rust uh, no holes any of that it's got the tow mirrors you can pull out um, it does have a little scratch there on the bottom of the door that's the first thing I'm going to nitpick um, you can see the seats these have probably been redone I'm guessing since they're so nice, but uh, seats have no rips or tears. Headliner is not sagging or anything. Still has the lariat. A little bit of uh, just cracking on the side of the seat bolster, but there's no wear. Um, I wish I'd uh, just dyed the steering wheel. I didn't realize how nice it was, but there's no rips or tears in the wheel. It does have a uh, one key and one remote, so you're all sit there overhead console um, got the flip up center console so you can either have a console or you can sit three across but look in the jams hasn't been out mud riding uh, no rust no rot any of that even in the cab corners they're all good door bottoms are good back seats are good sliding rear window see once again the headliner they're nice seats not really a whole lot to nitpick on this truck the bed liner is in great shape no signs of paint work it does have firestone tires it's got the extra leaf spring for the tow package um, look behind the tires too they're not chipped up pecked up so you can tell not a farm truck, haven't been off on gravel roads and stuff. This is just water, we just got done rinsing it off. But see it's got the big receiver hitch, stock exhaust, hasn't been souped up with some fart cam pipe or so-called high flow air filter. Look how straight it is down the sides. See extra leaf, all that good stuff. Front of the bed straight. Look in here, of course again. No rust. Carpet's got a, a little dirt on it. Could use a scrubbing maybe, but the guys around here will put a water hose on one and then the truck will be musty. It just needs to be done right and then don't worry about it. Uh, you can see power seats on both sides. Look in the door pockets. You can tell a work truck because all these door pockets will be filled with sludge, basically. Grease and oil and stuff. But it does have the uh, spare tire lock got the uh, manual dash is not peeling not cracked or any of that uh, like I said flip up console flips open and closed still got the lariat stitching on the doors this truck has obviously spent its time on the highway it hasn't been out mud bogging riding up and down farm roads stuff like that just a clean, nice 2003 Ford 7.3 pickup. So if you have any questions, give me a call, 601-376-9869.
Now I'm going to show you under the hood and then we're going to take you for a spin. So once again, just to recap, on the outside, one little scratch on the door. Um, there was something, oh, the factory clear coat is peeling in a couple spots or whatever you want to call it on the wheels. So you can see a little not as shiny areas. I wouldn't worry about it. If it bugs you, you can buy a brand new set of aftermarket wheels on eBay for literally two or three hundred dollars. It's, it's crazy how cheap they are, but honestly, you can't hardly see it unless you're up close. I wouldn't worry about it. The only other thing I would recommend, you may want to do, you may not, is give it a good waxing and polishing uh, just to get the, bring all the shine out in the paint. But like I said, it, it looks fine, so we do try and nitpick these trucks as much as possible just so we don't want to risk bad feedback over a rock pack or a ding or something simple so don't let me make it sound worse than it is we're just trying to nitpick because most of our customers are buying sight and unseen but anyway let's look under the hood and take it for a spin okay before i take you on a test drive i just want to show you a few things under the hood first of all we don't clean under hood this is just how this truck came in so you can see you got a little dirt a little dust nothing serious the main thing you can take away from looking under this hood is that it hasn't spent its life out in mud holes because when they have all this bare aluminum stuff gets a brown patina that you just can't clean off this one doesn't have that what it does have still got the factory uh tool kit with it you can see from this sticker the ac compressor has been replaced at some point so was the alternator main thing I want to show you though is see I take the oil cap off I don't even see a whiff of smoke although smoke's not a big deal as long as it's not puffing the main thing is you can see I set the cap down it doesn't blow off that means there's no blow by blow by is engine compression getting past the piston rings and into the crankcase it's not necessarily the sign of a bad engine but it's a sign of wear that this truck doesn't have so now that I've shown you that, I'm going to hop in and take it for a spin. Okay, now we're in the truck. I'm going to show you a few things. First of all, stereo, CD, and cassette. Radio works. I don't have any CDs or cassettes to test it. It does have power pedals that work. Trailer brake controller. I have no idea if it works. Pedals. Extra power outlet. Has the uh, overhead console with sunglasses holder garage door holder opener now this doesn't work of course that all these they never work that's a little readout for the compass and the thermometer and stuff there's a guy on ebay if you unscrew that and send it to him for like twenty dollars he'll repair it and send it back we just uh i should probably keep an extra one on hand i just keep forgetting to find one at the junkyard or something just to have so i can start swapping these out i'm probably going to do that in the future but not a big deal um, this truck now you have to excuse my shaky camera work because I'm filming with one hand and driving with the other on some of the very worst roads in the city of Jackson as y'all who have watched many of our videos are no doubt aware but uh, even though the ride may come, look a little shaky in the video in person it has a great ride and drive uh, no issues with that and one thing you'll be able to take away from all the potholes I'm about to run over is that this truck is tight. There's not a bunch of squeaks and rattles and bangs and clunks and uh, any of that stuff. So um, just pointing all that out up front. Even it still has the little uh, button on the shifter with the little trim ring around it. Usually those trim rings are always missing. But uh, steering wheel's in good shape. It's got a cover on it that's done its job. I don't know if you can see this leather. It's a little worn. The, the color is worn, but it's not. I don't see any rips or tears. I, if I'd known it, I'd have just died the steering wheel and, and been done with it. But uh, it's what it is. So it does have the, uh, let's see if you can see it there. Keyless entry. Got the remote for it. Uh, this truck fires right up, hot or cold, not hard to start cold or any of that. Uh, and whether you buy from us or whomever, you always want to hear a power stroke crank cold because if they've got problems, that's when you'll know it. And it may run perfect once it's warmed up. But either way, 
drives great, doesn't pull to the left or right, doesn't vibrate or pull when you hit the brakes. So uh, no issues there. If you want to fly in to Jackson International Airport and drive it home, you're more than welcome to. I wouldn't hesitate to hop in this truck and drive it anywhere. Uh, but if you're like most of our customers, you're from the Northeast or the Midwest, we understand you may not have time to spend uh, several days driving or flying down and then driving home. So with that being said, uh, you know, don't let the idea of having to deal with shipping uh, turn you off from being interested in this truck. And don't let the idea of, uh, don't let the prices you see, if you look up uh, shipping prices online, scare you off from this truck. Because depending on how much of a hurry you're in, we can save you as much as half off. And the reason for that is most of these guys you find online, they're not actual shippers. They don't have a fleet of trucks out on the road. They're just brokers. And they'll charge you hundreds of dollars up front and they call it a deposit but all it really is is their broker's fee for uh finding somebody else to haul the truck to you so uh they all use this one website that's not open to the public called central dispatch and it costs two or three grand a year to be on it but uh basically if you're on it you have access to wholesale rates on shipping now i'm gonna have to pause for a minute here at the ghetto gas station so I can get just a little fuel because I didn't realize how low it was. Be right back. Okay, back in the truck. I had to, I get a little paranoid whenever I get a 7.3 uh, much below a quarter tank and this one was down to about an 8 so I figured I better not take any chances because the worst thing you can do to a 7.3 is run it low on diesel because when you do any gunk that might happen to be in the tank from years and years of fill-ups will go right into that sock and clog it up and then there you'll be uh, dropping the tank on the side of the road to clean it out so had to throw a few bucks in it but anyway uh, like I was saying uh, we're on Central Dispatch, so basically we can offer our customers wholesale rates on shipping. So if you're interested, shoot me a text, 601-376-9869, uh, with your zip code and your email and the truck you're interested in, and I'll get you a good ballpark figure on shipping, because what I do, the website lets me plug in my zip and yours, tells me how many miles it is, and tells me, uh, gives me an average rate based on the last five actual uh, jobs so I can give you a good ballpark figure and if you're in a hurry I can post it for a little more get it done quicker if you're not in a hurry I can post it for a little less save you some money um, but basically from the time I post it it usually takes three to five days on average now I'm not because I'm not the shipper I'm basically I'm arranging the shipping for you it's a free service to our customers Although if you're not our customer, we'll do it for 50 bucks, but we'd rather you be our customer and we'll do it for free, make all the arrangements. So basically all you do if you buy it is you pay us for the truck only, just the truck, either FedEx us a cashier's check or do a bank wire. We post it for shipment, send you the title and everything. And when they, the transporter drops off the truck, you just hand them cash for the shipping. Uh, Cause like I said, we're not the shippers, we're just arranging it, so you'll pay them directly in cash. It's a real smooth deal. We've done it hundreds and hundreds of times. Never had any trouble. So, uh, like I said, if you're interested, shoot me a text with your zip. I'll get you a good ballpark figure on that. Uh, and if you have any questions about it, give me a call, 601-376-9869. If I don't answer, don't leave me a voicemail, just shoot me a text. Uh, and if it's, you know, after 8 or 9 o'clock in the evening or early in the morning, just text me. Um, that's the easiest way to get a hold of me. But uh, beyond that, if you have any questions about the truck, like I said, give me a call. You want to make an offer. Uh, if you have any questions about the shipping, any of that kind of stuff, just call me. I'll be glad to um, answer or any or address any concerns. 
mechanically speaking the only other thing I've noticed that doesn't work is the power mirrors and usually that's just the fuse or the switch so odds are I'll have them fixed before the auctions over but I want you to bid to assume I won't because we have a lot going on it's just me and a mechanic so sometimes I forget stuff or whatever so just bid to assume they don't work and that way if I get them fixed then it'll be a bonus but if it's a concern you can always call me and say hey are the mirrors fixed but you know there's not much to go wrong and heck you can buy a brand new set of the 08 and up style square mirrors for like $120 so um, anyway like I said just bid to assume they don't work they probably do I'll probably have them fixed but uh, just let you know before I go, one more thing I want to show you. Uh, you can see on the dash, no warning lights lit, no service lights, engine lights, none of that. I like to show the dash after I've been driving a while because, you know, it's easy to um, kill a light with your scanner and then say, look, no lights. Take a picture of it real quick. And, but if there's a problem and you haven't fixed it, then as soon as as you go to driving that light's going to come right back on so that's why i like to show the dash after i've been driving so you can see for yourself that there really are no lights lit so uh anyway that's that's pretty much it like i said if you have any questions call me 601-376-9869 appreciate you watching the video and hearing everything we had to say look forward to seeing you here in jackson mississippi thank you